Hello Sabre Nation. I hope you're all doing well and enjoying your time at Robert Vela High School. For those who may not know me, I am Issa Mendoza and I have the honor of serving you as your student council president. Today, I am here to talk about some important school policies that directly impact each and every one of us. As students, we play a crucial role in creating a positive and inclusive environment within our school. By familiarizing ourselves with these policies, we can better understand our rights, responsibilities, and the expectations that come along with being a part of this incredible community. Thank you for your attention as we explore these important school policies together. Hello students, welcome to today's presentation on the policies and procedures here at Robert Vela High School. As you know, our administrative team is made up of Mrs. Espena, your principal, myself, Mr. Delgado, as your 12th grade assistant principal, Mrs. Garza as your 11th grade assistant principal, Mr. Hernandez as your 10th grade assistant principal, and Ms. Bernal as your 9th grade assistant principal. Now, let's take a look at your academic counselors. We have Mrs. Escobar for students with last names A through D, Mrs. Rodriguez with students with last names E through G, Mrs. Polido for students with last names H through O, Mr. Garza for students with last names P through SA, Mrs. C. Cavazos for students with last names SC through Z, and all ninth grade early college high school students. And finally, Mrs. M. Cavazos for students 10th through 12th grade in early college high school. We also have Mr. Salinas, your migrant counselor, Mr. Olmeda, our CTE counselor, Mrs. Viegas, who is our teen parenting counselor, Mr. Chavez, our financial aid officer, and Mr. Reyes, the social worker. The RVHS vision is, all students will be empowered with the skills necessary to achieve academic, social, and professional success. Attendance matters at RVHS. Our school start time is 9 a.m. Texas attendance law requires students be in attendance 90% of the days to earn credit for each course. Attendance impacts learning. Let's discuss some benefits of good attendance. Credits. Earn all your credits on time. You can take CTE and dual enrollment classes to get ahead. GPA. Good attendance improves your GPA and class ranking and may qualify you for scholarships. Exam exemptions, 90 and above average and three or fewer excused absences or 85 and above and two or fewer excused absences are needed to exempt your semester exams. Remember, you cannot have any referrals for the classes you are trying to exempt. And rewards, Pepperelli participation is based on attendance we will also have some field trips and prizes for perfect attendance throughout the year. And now some consequences of bad attendance. Loss of credits. Too many absences result in blocked credits. Students missing credits at the end of the year will not be classified as the next grade level. Makeup hours. Students who lose credit due to attendance must attend Saturday school, after school tutorials or summer school to regain their credits. Truancy court. Parents and guardians are charged with violation of the Texas attendance law when their child is absent too many days. They must appear in truancy court and will be issued court mandated fines. And revoked transfers. Transfer students must maintain good attendance along with passing grades and no discipline referrals. Transfers may be revoked if students are violating our attendance policies. Attendance and driver's license. Students who are applying for their driver's license must request a VOE form, verification of enrollment. If a student has blocked credits due to absences and still owes hours, they are not eligible to obtain the VOE. This means they cannot receive their license until all hours are completed. 
Attendance also impacts your participation in extracurricular activities. Edinburgh CISD policy states, if a student is absent from school, they are not eligible to participate in extracurricular activities that day. This includes practice, games, and performances. If a student is absent from school two or more days during the week, they are not eligible to participate in extracurricular activities scheduled for that week. I'm back to discuss the UIL No Pass, No Play. In addition to ECISD attendance policies for participation, students must adhere to the official UIL eligibility rules. Students must be passing all classes to participate in UIL competitions. If eligibility is lost due to a failing grade, students can regain eligibility at progress report time if they are passing all classes. Now some important information on the TARDI policy. For a student who has a first or second TARDI, the teacher will issue a warning. On the third TARDI, the teacher will call home and or schedule a parent guardian conference. On the fourth tardy, the teacher will submit a discipline referral. Consequences is one day of ISS for the first referral. Here at Robert Vela High School, we will be following the Edinburgh CISD early release policy. A parent, legal guardian, or person authorized in Skyward must sign out a student for an early release. They must have a picture ID. Early releases may be requested after second period. Early releases will not be approved after 3.30 p.m. Students who drive to school and are 18 must still have a parent or guardian permission for an early release. Now, let's go over breakfast and lunch. Breakfast is served from 7.30 a.m. to 8.50 a.m. Only students that are, arrive on a late bus are allowed to eat breakfast after 8.50 a.m. Now, lunch. During lunch, food deliveries from outside are not permitted. Students must remain in the cafeteria area during their lunch period. Students are not allowed outside during the lunch period. Also, students are not allowed in the hallways or benches by the front office and library. And finally, let's be considerate. Clean up your mess after you've eaten. Student safety. Students are not allowed in the parking lot at any time during the school day. Please make sure you have all your belongings when you come into the building. Students are not permitted to go back to their vehicles for any reason during the school day. Students who are caught in the parking lot may lose the privilege of driving their car to school. In addition, here's some more important information. Students do not open doors with alarms or doors labeled, this is not an exit. Please do not open locked doors for anyone. Also, use the designated entry and exit doors, which are the front reception entrance, the cafeteria entrance, the covered walkway to the gym entrance, the fine arts hallway, exit and entrance when going to portable buildings. We will now discuss bullying. What is bullying? There are four types of bullying. Verbal bullying, this includes teasing, name calling, inappropriate comments, taunting, threatening to cause harm. We have physical bullying, hitting, kicking, pinching, tripping or pushing, stealing or breaking someone's property, or making mean or rude gestures. Social bullying is leaving someone out intentionally, telling others not to be friends with someone, spreading rumors, or sharing personal secrets. And cyberbullying, sending mean text messages or emails, spreading rumors through social media, electronically sending, 
posting, or sharing embarrassing pictures, videos, websites, or creating fake profiles to do any of these things. Any form of bullying will not be tolerated at Robert Vela High School. Our ECISD policy states, if a student believes that he or she has experienced bullying or witnesses bullying of another student, the student or parent should notify a teacher, school counselor, principal, or other district employee as soon as possible. A student may also anonymously report an alleged incident of bullying by using the ECISD or campus website and clicking on the anonymous alerts to report the incident. The administration will investigate any allegations of bullying or other related misconduct. Okay, now we will discuss the topic of threats. ECISD and Robert Vela High School take all threats seriously. Any threat made towards any individual or a campus may result in suspension, placement at the Edinburgh Alternative Academy, and or criminal charges. Disruption of school operations is not tolerated. Students, we do offer a safe haven area here at Robert Vela High School. A safe haven room is a designated area that students may go to when they do not feel safe. The safe haven room at Robert Vela High School is located in the counselor's office. This is the first office on the left in the 300s hallway. Now we're gonna talk about electronic devices. Please bring your device and charger for learning every day. Students must have their school issued device for specific exams, benchmark testing, and all other official EOC exams. During class time, cell phones may only be used for educational purposes as instructed by the teacher. Okay, now let's discuss our Robert Vela High School football games. Only Robert Vela High School students are allowed to sit in the student section of the stadium. This says home and away. Students must show their current Robert Vela High School ID to enter the student section. As per ECISD policy, Robert Vela High School will be strictly enforcing the dress code this year. Let's review the ECISD dress code policy. Shirts, no muscle shirts, no see-through blouses, no crop tops, no low-cut tops, no strapless spaghetti straps or halter tops. Bottoms, pajama pants will not be allowed. Jeans that are shredded, ripped, or have holes are not allowed. Dresses, skirts, and shorts must be no more than four inches above the crease on the back of the knee. Graphics. No obscene, vulgar, or suggestive language or images. No drugs, alcohol, or tobacco logos, symbols, or images. And no gang-related paraphernalia. Caps and sunglasses are not allowed in the building. No caps, hats, beanies, bandanas, or other headgear, unless approved for a school-approved activity. Sunglasses are not allowed to be worn in the building. And lastly, get involved. We encourage all of our RVHS students to get involved in clubs and extracurricular activities. Please take note of some of the clubs and where they meet. Reach out to the club sponsors if you are interested in joining any of these organizations. So let's remember students, we are Vela. Represent our school with pride. Uphold your responsibilities as a student and maintain good behavior at all school and community events. This concludes our presentation. Have a great day and a great school year.